Most people don't like hearing negative things about their country, their beliefs, their friends and family, or themselves. The natural response to accusations is shame if you think they might be true, or anger if you think they are false. Propagandists take advantage of this by using the tactic called whataboutism. Whataboutism is about changing the subject by manipulating emotions. Russian propagandists often point out hypocrisy and deflect criticism of Russia. When someone criticizes Russia for X, there is an immediate response. What about Y? The invasion of Crimea? What about Iraq? Repression of Crimean Tatars? What about Western colonialism and imperialism? Police brutality in Russia? What about police brutality in the United States? Vladimir Putin's corruption? What about corruption among Western politicians? When Russian propaganda uses this tactic, it is important to keep calm. Rule number one. Call out whataboutism by its name. Rule number two. Don't get derailed. Let's take Russian whataboutism about Kosovo. Seven months after condemning Kosovo intervention, then Russian President Medvedev uses Kosovo as an excuse for his war in Georgia, and yet later says that parallels between the two are inappropriate. Then, in 2014, Putin used the Kosovo intervention to defend Russia's invasion of Crimea. So, does Russia think the Kosovo case was good or bad? It depends on the propaganda spin. Rule number three, don't let the propagandists make the perfect the enemy of the good. Stick to the subject, don't get distracted. Maybe the war with Serbia was a terrible mistake, and maybe it wasn't. Either way, this does not justify Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Was the war in Iraq a calamity? Okay, but does this justify Russia making a new calamity on purpose? Russian propagandists want to devalue critical thinking and research and encourage emotion and conspiracy theories. If we react irrationally to their emotional manipulations, we are playing by their rules.